This video, like the 20 others I've posted the past two weeks, is brought to you by EA Game Changers. That just means that they sent me the pack early. The pack is out now though, much like my new merch, <laughs> which is available on lilsimsyshop.com. I'll link that down below if you wanna buy it. But today we're not gonna do anything related to merch. In fact, I think you probably can't get further away from like YouTuber merch than building an off-the-grid house in the middle of the countryside. So today, I'm gonna try to build an off-the-grid house in the middle of the countryside. I feel like cottage living really bodes well with the current off-the-grid system that we have, and they added that new simple living lot challenge, so I feel like the two of those combined could make for a really fun gameplay experience. So, so today I wanna try and build a little house. There's no power or water. You have to have all the ingredients on the lot to cook with them, and there are foxes. So if you lived here on this lot, you'd have to grow everything yourself. Like if you wanted fish for dinner, you better get catching, you know? This is very exciting to me personally, and is definitely a way that I love to play The Sims, so I'm kind of excited to build a house like this. And I can't wait until I can play with all the other packs, cause then you could throw in like a clothesline for your laundry. Maybe you could have like a water catcher from Eco Lifestyle. Like I just think a lot of this stuff that we've got already is gonna play in so well together with this. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop. Let's build. I feel like we need this to be really small, because I guess realistically it would be really tiny, right? I mean, like a one-room cottage kind of thing. I mean, there's no electricity and no water, right? So <laughs> we don't really have a need for a lot of the classic things you might find in a home like this. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna spend way too much money doing this too. I, I didn't really think that part through. All right, I said it was gonna be off the grid. I didn't say it was gonna be cheap, okay? <laughs> See, I feel like doing something like this would be good, but I don't know if that's the same. Like, does that even match? Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I made it too small. Oh, we could do it like that. I feel like that works. Okay, I think this little room's gonna be the bathroom, so <laughs> we'll put some really tiny windows in there. Maybe I will have a bedroom. Wait, why is it doing that? It's floating, that's not fair. Oh, we could do it like that. Is that super weird? I don't think so. We could have like the big window underneath it. That's kind of fun. Maybe the door. Well, see, I feel like that kind of works. <laughs> you can't line that up properly, it's so weird. Oh well, that's just too high up. See, that just looks silly. Maybe no chimney. <laughs> Maybe we just have no chimney. Okay, so this lot is off the grid. So the lighting situation is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Uh, these are our only options, so consider yourselves warned. <laughs> I'll definitely put candles in like every room. I love how this looks, the little lantern. I think that'll be so cute in the bathroom. Put like an older stone floor or something, right? I like it. Some nice wood floors inside. It's really dark in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We'll get the sim to come light the fire so we can actually see inside. And we'll put a fireplace in the bedroom too. Okay, that didn't actually add much lighting in here. I sort of thought it would add more than that. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. If I put this fireplace here, can we even have a bed? I guess the bed can still be in the corner. It doesn't need to be like, you know, facing the fireplace. That's just not really the vibes that I was going for originally. Oh dear. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Thinking we paint the place with a little bit of stone. Maybe one extra window there. That won't hurt. Okay. You know, the layout is kind of concerning to me as well. Like, I'm not really sure where I want to put everything. Just wing it and we'll make it work. Oh, the new sink does work off the grid. That's good to know. So do the new fridges. Yay. Okay. Forged in the early 1900s, this antique iron stove can cook anything you throw at it. From curries to crumpets, though you probably shouldn't throw curries or crumpets around so frivolously. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely use that. I'm wondering if we just don't put a sink in the kitchen, or possibly if instead of this being the bathroom, we make that the kitchen. I'm just trying to think like <laughs> ways we can make this not weird. I guess a lot of these houses, like it probably would be like this. We could have a door into the kitchen and a door into the bathroom. I kind of like that. Let's keep it this way. Very odd, not very practical, but that's all right. We'll definitely have some cross stitching. We'll need this woodworking table too, but I'll probably put it outside. Like I want to have a little um, patio space back here and then we'll have some garden and then some animals. Oh, oh, it looks like the window is clipping a tiny bit. That's weird. I'm just gonna leave it. Just ignore that part. Don't look at it. It's fine. <laughs> the off the grid plumbing situation is not so good. But that's okay because this works off the grid. See, I wonder, do you think we could make it work when it's this small? Cause that would be really fun for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> if it was really small. And we don't need a sink because there's a sink in the kitchen. I love this, but we really need to get some more light because it's really dark in there. It's quite sad. As far as color scheme goes, I kind of like this one. Okay, didn't really think through the, um, uh, the fridge situation. Okay, cool. <laughs> we could do it like that, but it's not as fun as the fun colored ones. Hmm, how much do I care about that? <laughs> how much do I care about it not matching? I'm gonna put this candle thing in this hallway. I'm not a huge fan of this candle thing, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel as though it's it's the only option. <laughs> Cause look at how bright that is. Like compared to the other lighting options, the candle is really good. Okay, I need to start being careful cause I've got decorations on all these counters. And if I do that too much, then the house won't be functional and that would be bad. Maybe I just give up and embrace the candle. Cause it's so much brighter, it's so much better. Like there's no denying it. Like it's just this, this candelabra thing makes the house so much brighter. I'm giving them some books because um, well, they can't do much else here, can they? <laughs> Need something to get your fun up. Maybe a guitar too. Oh, no, that's nice. Oh, I forgot I was gonna try and put a dining table. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there's not space for that anymore. If I hadn't done this, we probably could have fit one. Oh, I probably could still fit one, to be honest. Mm, I'll think about it. Oh, that's a good spot. I think your Sims can use it still. <laughs> I don't actually know. I don't know what to do. This rug I find so difficult to use. <laughs> I say this with love. I don't know how to make that rug work. I want to use the new wallpaper, but I, I keep every time I make a house, I'm like, I'm gonna use the new rug. Can't do it. I don't think it's the rug's fault. I think it's my fault for my like inability to know how to make it not look weird. Stop. She started playing with the guitar. Put it down. I'm trying to decorate. <laughs> well, I like how bright it is. I've managed to, to put enough lights that it still looks nice in here, even though there's no power. Can your Sims even walk through that? I don't think I should put furniture here. I think I should call it a day on the inside. Okay, I like that. Then I guess I gotta figure out some way to get some lights in the bathroom. <laughs> I've been putting it off, but we do need a light in the bathroom, I suppose. It's so dim. Oh, what? Can you not light that up? You can't change the color and intensity of that? Huh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, we probably need more than just that light then. <laughs> oh, I guess, I mean, the bathroom is functional. What more could you need? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Oh, actually, I might do that differently. I'm kind of thinking that I want to have a pond on the lot. I want to have the garden on the lot. <laughs> I want to have the cows on the lot and the chickens on the lot. <laughs> I mean, there's just a lot of stuff I want to do. Okay. Maybe the pond goes back there, kind of like that. Okay, that's not good, besties. Why does it do that? Does it not? If it wasn't attached, would it like... Oh yeah, that's better. That's... I'm okay with the, the fence doing a weird loop-de-loop -loop like that. Okay, the chickens could go back here. The cow's in this part. How close to the pond do I put the chickens? No, I'll, I'll keep it further away. And then... I mean, I wanted the patio here, and I wanted some crops, but now I'm thinking I don't have enough space for them. I guess, wait, we could have like two sections of plants. So there could be some in here. <laughs> That's not good. Wait, let me scoot it over a tiny bit. Okay, those are flat on the ground. That's good. So we could have some crops there. Like you're gonna need to have a bunch of plants, right? Because this is how you're eating. <laughs> so we'll wanna get a bunch of them. Oh, I don't like how they look. Do I put them all together? I wish I had more space. <laughs> I could scoot the house forward just by one tile. What did it delete? 20 simoleons, I don't know. I don't know what it deleted with 20 simoleons. But see, isn't that better having some more space? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna make the whole area around the house into like a little sort of patio type thing because I want to have like a little table and stuff out here. And obviously, you know, you're gonna need the woodworking table and all that. I'm pretty happy with this. Like, I feel like the layout makes sense is what I mean. Like, I mean that the layout makes a lot of sense. At least I think it does. <laughs> now we just got to start getting some landscaping. And obviously some cows. Oh no, didn't think through. Not enough space. Maybe I could put the cows at the front. I mean, I think that's realistic. It just looks kind of ugly, but that's probably fine. And then the chickens can go in the back corner. Yeah, it definitely looks bad from the front of the lot. That's the problem. But there's not enough space for the cows otherwise. And I want cows because I want to live off the grid and, and get my milk and stuff. So what do I do? <laughs> Probably fine if we did it like that. And that's better, right? Okay, now I want to get ourselves some very large trees. Okay, in real life, I feel like that's probably not very good because the trees are, are shading the plants. But in The Sims, it's fine because I said so. <laughs> will your Sims walk under that? I think they will. I just love the idea of a really like shaded cottage lifestyle. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh no, I didn't even notice that. Oops. These roof pieces are really finicky and annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's probably gonna disappear again and I'll have to fix it again. Why are the ducks floating? Okay, 
duck spawner? Should I put an alligator in the pond too? I feel like when given the opportunity to have an alligator in your backyard, you should always say yes. Take it from me, I live in Florida. I am, um, I would know. I love this game. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I'm genuinely kind of embarrassed by how much fun I'm having with this. Look, we get us a little picnic table, a little picnic basket. We'll need a trash can somewhere. Maybe we stick it like under the tree so it's kind of out of the way. And then I was thinking we could try and get a couple more planter boxes. Maybe the sim grows like flowers over here and then the rest of the stuff is like their actual crops, you know, like the carrots for dinner. I've been doing this thing recently too, where when I'm trying to decorate the little barn areas, I'll like stack a couple hay bales together because I feel like that's pretty realistic. I don't know if the way I have stacked them is realistic, but I feel like having some stacked hay bales is pretty realistic. These are actually chairs, so your sims can sit on them, but I mean, obviously they won't work if they're stacked, but technically they could sit on them. <laughs> I also am never really sure how to best do terrain paint like in these areas, because obviously you want to put some dirt like underneath and around the barns because that's where the cows are hanging out. I just don't know how much or like what the most realistic way to lay it out is. <laughs> and I've been putting terrain paint like underneath the fences even. I've been having a lot of fun the past few months trying to be more detailed with my terrain paint. You've probably noticed that in my builds that I've been doing. Do you know what? This is a pretty decent off the grid house because you can fish in the pond behind the house. Obviously you have lots of space to grow. You got eggs, you got milk. It's not even that dark inside. I mean, well the bathroom is a bit sad, but you can craft a new toilet if you want on this thing. You can grill if you need to cook. I mean, there's everything you could possibly need. I think the last couple of things I want to get, I wanted to put an easel outside. I wanted to move this, the cross stitching thing to somewhere a little bit more useful. We could always just stick it on the dresser, I guess, and then you could grab from it if you need it. The Sim moved the guitar. <laughs> oh, we don't have anything on the table anymore. How about that? Antique coffee pot. Sure. I think those are all our bases covered. I think that's a nice off the grid house. And imagine like once we have all the other packs, you put a clothesline out here, you get a solar panel on the roof. <laughs> I don't know. But like even the bees from Seasons, you could use those. Everything would tie together so well. They have really been feeding us stuff for my poor little cottage core heart for years and it's finally all coming together. This will of course be on the gallery for you if you want to download it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Check out the merch link in the description. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'm dating this video by saying this, but it's currently July 6th and there's a really bad storm coming to Florida and I always lose power in bad storms. So I'm like paranoid trying to finish the video, you know, before the storm hits. It's literally Tropical Storm Elsa. It's literally called Elsa.